Welcome to the demonstration of Payment Connect Quotes and Invoices. In this short demonstration, we'll look at the Payment Connect add-on for getting paid online from your Salesforce opportunity. Payment Connect is 100% completely native to Salesforce. Listed on the Salesforce App Exchange as an Aloha application means it will not count towards your system limits for objects, tabs, or applications. Payment Connect operates from your Salesforce account and integrates with your Payment Gateway account. So at no time does Limvio participate in the transaction and there is no Limvio server or separate Limvio platform for you to log into to manage your transactions. The primary objective of Payment Connect is to synchronize your Payment Gateway account with your Salesforce account. The functionality we're about to explore together is supported by PayPal Website Payments Pro, Authorize.net, and eWay. Quotes and Invoices allows you to generate an online quote or invoice combined with online credit card processing. This e-commerce solution is hosted directly from your Salesforce account and is specifically designed to be used with opportunities. Your customers will not require a specific login to approve and make payments online via credit card because the unauthenticated sites user is already part of your Salesforce Enterprise Edition license fees. Of course, the formatting and the styling of the site's landing page can be customized and updated to match your current one brand name. From my Salesforce demonstration account, there are several fields that we can use to affect the layout of the online approval page that your customers will see. The first place to start is the formula field where we create the specific URL unique to this opportunity. Below that we have some fields for quote numbers, invoice numbers, the expiration date of the quote works so if the date is previous to today the quote will not expire. Very handy if you have promotional or specific pricing for a customer. The other area is the terms and conditions. This is a rich text editor where we can put in our information here. So our demonstration for YouTube plus one. We'll save that and now we'll go look at what the customer sees. Customer gets an email or a PDF document from you which has the link in it and notice when they pull up the URL they do not need to log in. They immediately see their approval page for their opportunity. Now this is an unmanaged page therefore we can update it for you to reflect custom fields that you might need to have displayed from your unique implementation of opportunities. We can rearrange the fields and that information. Notice the products can be displayed. The terms and conditions there's U2 plus one. We're asking the customer to accept the terms and enter their name as an electronic signature. At this point we can accept the terms and we'll go right to our site checkout page. As we've seen in previous demonstrations the site checkout page is part of the package for Payment Connect and it's a terminal designed for end users to make e-commerce transactions. At this point we can go ahead and enter in our credit card number and we'll submit for payment. At this point we're making an API call and in this demonstration our preferred payment gateway is PayPal. PayPal is giving us a green light saying that they've accepted the credit card for $890. If we go back to the opportunity and refresh the page, what we're going to be looking for is a couple things, some additional custom fields that we can talk about. For one thing, the number of payments made is now equal to one and the payment record, here we have a completed payment for $890. The payment record matches the amount that we're expecting, therefore we have the paid off checkbox. This is helpful with your Salesforce workflow. An example is that the checkbox can be used to change the stage, perhaps the closed one or whatever stage you would use for processing completed orders within your opportunities. Final thing is under the activity history, remember we checked the box and we wrote our name in there as KingMe. We'll take the uh, day and time stamp as well as the IP address from which we are providing the uh, approval as, as well as the name that's typed in the text field and add that under the activity history for the opportunity. The other option you have when using Payment Connect is that you can use it to set up subscriptions or recurring payments as well. So in this particular opportunity we're selling an online data backup service and we've got three primary contacts of Barney Five, Ben Phillips, and Justin Pride. We have no recurring profiles. We're selling a startup consulting and we're selling our online backup service. So with Payment Connect there are some additional fields that we can be concerned with. The first one is we set up the recurring profile to be $49.99 once per month. 
we're going to start the subscription today. We can push it out into the future as well. We still have the expiration date of the quote, but we can also use this to not only make subscriptions, but also set up installment payments. So let's go have a look at our landing page. Similar to what we've experienced before, site's landing page for the approval. There's a few more details on here. Now it's telling the customer that we're going to set up recurring terms of $49.99 once per month. If I hit the terms, and now when we go to accept and pay online, we're taken to a slightly different checkout page. Instead of a site checkout, it says site subscribe. And it's telling me that I'm going to create a subscription. So the initial amount was those three hours of consulting for $285 and $49.99 once per month. However, at this point, if I wanted to, I can go back here and perhaps Barney Five, he's the guy I've been working with, but he's not the person who's making the payment for it. Perhaps the CFO of the company is making the payment for it. So now Martha Stewart, her contact information has been added to Salesforce. She's now the primary contact on the opportunity. And her information is now put into the site checkout page for her. At this point, we add in our American Express card. We process our payment. The API call is now going to PayPal, and it's asking PayPal to set up a recurring profile for us. Your subscription has been processed successfully. So now when we go back to my opportunity, refresh, we'll see that my opportunity has been updated correctly. I should now have four contacts on my opportunity. Notice that when I logged in the first time, Barney 5, I went back. That one was recorded, but it wasn't activated. And now I've got a recurring profile for Martha Stewart. And under my contact roles, I have a fourth contact, Martha Stewart. She's my primary contact now. So let's go to this recurring. This is the recurring profile related to the opportunity, related to the account, related to the contact. This is the recurring ID from PayPal that they give us back. 285 was our initial amount, our one-time charge. We're waiting for the $49.99 once per month subscription to be charged. Notice that site guest user is the one who created the subscription, so we know this was done online. If we go back to our opportunity, notice that the checkbox for paid off hasn't been completed yet, and that's because we haven't received the total amount, meaning we haven't received all the payments. We've gotten the 285, but we're waiting on the recurring for 499. Please join us for other presentations of Payment Connect, and thank you for your attention and your consideration. Have a nice day.